I got this yard machine model Y2510 and after a few uses I'd say less about 12 uses I noticed the pull pull cord and retract so I decided to take it apart and what I found was this part was busted up pretty good and it's supposed to catch between the flywheel with these things so I would say less than about 12 uses and this is plastic and you can see now it's busted up here and I went online it's kind of hard to find some parts therefore I decided to try another way of starting this yard machine weed eater or trimmer and I figured because this is plastic even if I replace it it'll probably do the same after a few uses you can see that it's all cracked up so basically it was jammed in between the pull cord and this fan so Either I replace this entire setup assembly or try a different method of starting it. And as you can see, it's probably because oh, I didn't touch this and I, rem I did not remove this, but there was a screw missing here. And this came out from the factory. This is the first time I disassembled it and it was missing a screw. So perhaps maybe the tension wasn't right and this thing was uh, getting prematurely worn, worn out. So what I attempt to do is probably try to start it like a model engine would. I will try to use this hub, put the drill, maybe make an adapter to it and spin it up, see if it'll crank the engine. If it's successful, then I would know that it will start the engine every time. Like I say, because I figure if I replace this assembly of cord, this will probably happen again quite soon as this part is made of plastic. And you can see there's a lot of wear here. So I'm going to show you guys how to start a trimmer using a drill and one of these bits, hole bits, hole saw bits. So what I've done is I got a piece of inner tube from a bicycle. I wrapped it around like this, right? And tape it. I wrapped it around so I can slip these uh, rubber back in like that. This is just to protect your uh, protect your the blade from damaging the trimmer. The next thing I did was take this, put the trimmer head like that. And it's quite hard to show. So like this, turn it the way as this head would turn. And in my case, it's, uh, what is this? The counterclockwise. And at the same time, if you need to use gas, so you take your foot and just tap on that trigger there. Here we go. So it take a few tries. We started up earlier. 
I guess because it's filming. It's a little harder to manage. But let me put some, let me pump some gas into there. Okay. And we'll do it again. I was quite excited doing my test. Let me start it up. All right. So here we go. So there you go, successful. I demonstrate how to start a trimmer easily without uh, a post poke cord. All you have to do is uh, put a drill bit up to here. Not a drill bit, but uh, a hole saw. Inlay with some rubber to protect it from damaging, sawing this thing off. Start it. As you're turning it, I put my foot on the trigger and you can hear the sound change and when the sound changed, the engine motor sound changed, I pulled the saw off, then it kicked up in the start. So you gotta listen for that. And that's how you start a trimmer without a poke cord, or in my case, it's broken. And now that I know, I will not have to replace that part and I can uh, always use a drill to start the trimmer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. If you like it, please subscribe to me or subscribe to me because I found a good way to start your trimmer without uh, costing you more money. <laughs> and in the future, I, if I have more, well, when I do have more uh, problems like this, I, when I figure out how to solve it, I'll put it online. Thank you for watching.